one baby. She definitely crushed that one. Can you open the hat? Oh, we got that one. Okay, well that's where the smell of death has been coming from. Uh, so we have a couple more in there. You better get that little one underneath you, Mama. Such graceful drinkers. He just ate his food. Curls in there laying an egg. Uh -oh. Nesting? I don't know. Hi, big boy. He's so pretty. There she is. She's getting dirty. I'm definitely hearing wild turkeys or our neighbors two turkeys. Alright, here's my ducks. I'm gonna go take care of them. That's the girl. The boy. What did I name him? <laughs> I don't even remember. Let's call her Kathy Campbell. I know I, I named her Pudding. She's kind of my favorite because she's kind of silly. Honey. Somebody was named Honey. Quackers? I think that's his name. Quackers, Honey, and Pudding. But I just called him Boy Doc. Boy, and then Saxony girl, <laughs> and then Kathy Gamble. So uh, there's three eggs in here, but I don't really want to get them because I don't want him to get me. I just don't feel like it. Oh, a penguin. I don't know what to do with you. I did my rounds and now I'm filling waters, uh, making, well, filling waters with fresh water, double checking hay, making sure everybody's got hay. I noticed that uh, Treasure had something going on back there while I was, I was cleaning the garage out and sweeping and I just happened to glance at the right angle I guess I'm like wait a minute and there was a, a little bit of like pink and red on her vulva and I wiped it. Sure enough, it's like tissue. Reminds me like eerily of when she aborted uh, or had delivered her uh, mummified fetuses. And I doubt it's something lingering from that. Um, I think it has something to do with her being bred to cowboy. I think that that pregnancy was starting or something and I believe she is just aborted it really early on. That happened two weeks ago. So I really don't have high hopes for this pregnancy. Um, what the heck did I just see? Oh, trash, trash bags? Um, I think that uh, her pregnancy has stopped. I hope that everything stopped really early and there's nothing in there that would be developing. Um, because that's, I don't think that's normal, especially with what happened. It looked exactly like what I wiped off of her when she first started her, like delivering her um, dead babies. Someone went to, to Schnucks, but that's kind of a disappointment. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's, I have mixed feelings about that. I'm happy that her body gets time to rest. Um, I'm worried that she's never going to carry a normal pregnancy. I hope we can keep her from the box if she goes in heat again. I'm really hoping she goes in heat again next month. So we're looking at a heat around uh, June 6th, June 10th, somewhere around there. And then I will feel a lot better about it because I'll know that she went back to normal unbred status. And there's nothing else that's gonna be coming out of her. Gotta lock her up away from the boys. She's wild. <laughs> we gotta keep her away from them for sure. You know, it's good and bad all at the same time, but I 
I'm worried about her. I just, I hope that, you know, after two weeks, there shouldn't be anything developing there. I'm just hoping that it's not a sign that there's something wrong and she's going to continue to develop them like last time. Anyway. And there's these guys. Um, Reba is getting along really well with them, especially Blizzard. She and Blizzard have a little funny thing going on. And then Bambi just sort of like, I don't know if I like you or not. Just stay away. Sit away from me. But they were kind of together. They were laying in the center of the shelter, not touching, but they were laying together. By the way, Reba stands up on her back legs and chews on top of the uh, wood on top of the shelter, the beams. She chews it. Reba. One of those is a bald eagle, the one that's closest. Go. Watch out, chickens! Everybody, hold on to your gonads. Chickens, that's awfully bold of you. I'm experiencing that particular frustration that people who use these understand. The stick you're trying to cut. And at this point, you could use normal scissors, but your loppers just can't do it. It gets almost there, but it just, it can't get that last little bit. It cut through the rest of it, but it just can't get the rest of it. I'm trying to cut like the straightest sticks from this pile from the tree we cut down in the goat pen. And I'm trying to reuse it so we can kind of get rid of some of the debris and salvage some of it for garden. It is just, it's such a pain. There are all these dings in the blade now, and it's just, it's just so dull and annoying. But we must persevere and get it done. That is cool, by the way, get that spilled from the turkey. thing that one's doing is the top here. Uh, that was on the bench. That's probably cool because uh, the girls are way more agile and athletic than the boys are. Half and half. Claws the rooster in the face. <laughs> 